Okay guys, welcome back once again to DJ Pablo TV. I'm your host Paul, aka DJ Pablo, and it's a Tuesday guys, and I am back on your screen and I got a brand new review for you guys. See what I'm saying? Today we're gonna be going over the brand new album from Yellow Wolf entitled Ghetto Cowboy, guys. See what I'm saying? And this album right here is definitely for the true Yellow Wolf fan. So if you are not a true Yellow Wolf fan, you might feel kind of weird listening to this project because it's real country on this, and he's just keeping it real and true to his roots and where he's from so i'm saying guys so if you're a yellow wolf fan you can have a treat so before we do that anyway guys i just want to remind you guys before we jump in that if this is your first time make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on that way you don't miss any of my videos all right so without further ado let me just jump right and not waste any more time and then when i'm done the link will be down in the description for you guys to go check out the entire album absolutely free courtesy of youtube music so i'm saying and the yellow wolf so i'm saying so you guys will be able to stream it and listen to the album in full all right now the album it's got 14 tracks it starts off with track one called mama wolf this is an inner load right here and that is with his mom so i'm saying guys then we get to track two guys track two is called unnatural born killer this one right here is real dope so i'm saying i love the beat on this so i'm saying guys and the video for this one is out already if you haven't seen it yet it will definitely be in the playlist when you're checking out the album so i'm saying guys so don't worry while you are listening to the album on youtube music you will definitely be able to see the video because it's going to be in the lineup so i'm saying guys so it's a pretty cool track. I like it, so I'm saying, guys. I have this checked off as one of my favorites on the album. So if you were true Yellow Wolf fan, you will definitely enjoy that one. So I'm saying the beat is hot. I like the flow that he did on this, guys. And it's definitely a song for the true Yellow Wolf fans, all right? Then we get to track three. Now track three is called Opie Taylor, guys. This one right here, hot. I love the beat on this, so I'm saying, guys, more laid back. But I love the beat, the beat's hot, so I'm saying guys, something for the radio, radio DJs, you can do some work with this, and the video for this is already out as well guys, you will definitely see that when you check out the album as well, in the YouTube playlist for the album when you're done, so I'm saying guys, so you'll definitely get a treat right there to see the visuals on that one, the song is hot, radio DJ, you can definitely do something with this, it's got a radio vibe, so I'm saying guys, so you guys can definitely put that on radio, and let's put it in rotation, see what you can do, or let's drop it in the mix, see what you can do with it, so I'm saying guys, then we get to track four track four is called box chevy seven this one definitely one of my favorites on the album guys this one is dope so i'm saying they got some crazy bars on this so i'm saying guys something you can definitely drive to i love the beat on this is the kind of music you want to have in your car when you're driving so i'm saying guys so the beat on this is straight up fire i want to issue a head nod warning on this one you know you can't keep still when you check that out so i'm saying guys so i'm issuing up my infamous head nod warning on this channel that i usually place on a track that's just too dope that you can't keep still and you might hurt your neck checking it out so i'm saying so listen at your own risk guys so i'm saying head nod warning on this track right here called box chevy seven track four on the album so i'm saying guys and this is definitely something for the radio radio dj see what you can do with this it's definitely an exciting song you can definitely drop that in the mix and get something going for that track so then same then we get to track five track five is called air i am guys this one right here pretty cool so i'm saying i love the flow on this so i'm saying guys this is definitely something for the yellow wolf fans though it's definitely straight country on this so if you're not a true yellow wolf fan you might feel kind of weird checking this one out but don't worry man this was not for you if you're not a yellow wolf fan this is for the true diehard fans that will support him no matter what so i'm saying guys he goes real country on this and i like it. it's different so i'm saying guys and i'm an open-minded person i'm willing to listen to new stuff so i'm saying and i didn't have any problem with this track right here so i'm saying it's pretty cool once again it's called air i am track five then we get to track six track six is called still riding this one right here is hot and i'm saying i love the beat on this so i'm saying guys this one definitely a true banger and salute to dj clever on this clever i love the cuts you did on this and you know i'm a scratch dj man so i'm always listening for djs who caught up on different tracks and i'm saying and dj clever did his thing on this you know dj clever dmc world champion so i'm saying guys and he's definitely the dj for yellow war and he's cutting it up real nice on his tracks so all the djs who watch me here all the turntables who watch this channel you are definitely going to be in for a treat when you hear clever on that one so i'm saying he put some nice cuts on that just to spice things up and just to represent us djs in the world of music so i'm saying so salute to dj clever once again on that the track is hot so i'm saying guys and it is called still riding track six on the album all right definitely one of my favorites by the way so make sure djs you have that on your playlist so i'm saying then we get to track seven track seven is called lightning this one's pretty cool so i'm saying guys it's got that real country vibe and once again this is one of the tracks that's dedicated to the real yellow wolf fans so i'm saying it's got that real 
country flavor on it. So if you're not a Yellowwood fan, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is kinda odd, this is kinda different. As I said, if you're not a Yellowwood fan, some of these tracks are just not for you, see what I'm saying? And this is one of them. You gotta be a true Yellowwood fan to really acquire the taste with this one. But it's pretty cool, as I said, I'm an open-minded person. I'm willing to listen to whatever and just give my opinion on how I feel about it. Track's pretty cool, see what I'm saying, guys? And as I said, it's definitely for a Yellow Wolf fan, all right? Then we get to track eight. Now track eight's called Renegades. This one right here, pretty cool again. Another country song on the album, see what I'm saying? And as I said, once again, another song dedicated to the true Yellow Wolf fan, see what I'm saying? It's real country. He goes in and keep it real to his roots and where he's from. And he's definitely not holding back his country heritage on this one either, see what I'm saying? It's called Renegades, track eight. True Yellow Wolf fans will enjoy this. Newcomers will definitely feel odd, but as I said, this is not for you. So I'm saying this is for the true Yellow Wolf fans. Then we get to track nine. Track nine is called So Long. This one laid back. So I'm saying once again another country song. Yellow Wolf goes in, does this thing on this, but it has got that country flavor all over it. Need I say it again? If this is feeling odd for you, you are not a Yellow Wolf fan. This is not for you. This is for the diehard people who are truly supporting Yellow Wolf. So I'm saying. I'm an open-minded person. It seems pretty cool to me. I'm giving you my opinion, so I'm saying, guys, but the track is really gonna be supported more by the people who are diehard Yellow Wolf fans that support his music no matter what. And nothing's wrong with keeping it real to yourself, so I'm saying, guys. So he's definitely doing that on this track as well, so I'm saying, guys. Then we get to track 10. Track 10 right here is called You and Me, this one. Another laid back track, so I'm saying, guys country vibe again yellow wolf definitely singing on this one and he's just really relaxed and just going in and as i said another song once again for his true yellow wolf fans he's just opening up and just experimenting and just introducing the real country vibe of where he's from on the track and i think it's pretty cool guys i know it's different but i'm an open-minded person i've been in hip-hop for a long time and you have to be open-minded when you're a dj because you're playing for people some people have different choices you got to be able to play for the people who like that country stuff as well as the regular people so i'm saying so i'm an open-minded person i think it's pretty cool so i'm saying he's definitely doing something different that nobody else is doing apart from that oaktown road stuff so i'm saying guys so it's pretty cool and it could work for him so i'm saying guys his fans will definitely support it right there then we get to track 11 now track 11 is a message from dj paul dj paul you know from three six mafia guys shout out to dj paul a legend right here so i'm saying i really every time i hear his name and it's like i'm talking about my own damn self right so i'm saying but my name is paul as well but i go by dj pablo part of the reason why i stick to dj pablo was because of the fact that dj paul is a legendary guy right here i don't want to be having the same name as him i want him to stand out so i'm dj pablo even though my real name is paul so i'm saying and he's dj paul the legend from three six mafia so i'm saying guys so it's a nice inner load. He's just shouting Yellow Wolf album just talking about some ideas of using great beats and country stuff just to do something different that nobody else is doing. See what I'm saying? Then we get to track 12. Now track 12 is called Country Rich. And then this track right here now features DJ Paul on the track. See what I'm saying, guys? And the track's pretty cool. See what I'm saying? Once again, it's got that country vibe. And DJ Paul goes in and brings that southern flavor to the track as well to complement the song with Yellow Wolf right here. And as I said, it's definitely for the Yellow Wolf fan. Regular people might have a problem acquiring a taste for this stuff, but you're doing something different. They're doing some country. If you're from the South, you get it. If you're not, then you might have a problem with it, but it is definitely not for you if you're not a true Yellow Wolf fan. So I'm saying, but it's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm saying, cause I like DJ Paul and I didn't mind them experimenting on this track. So I'm saying, then we get to track 13. Now track 13 is called Keep On Rolling. This one features Cook Up Boss and Big Henry, so I'm saying guys, and this one right here is dope. They spit some serious bars on this. Salute to Cook Up Boss and salute to Big Henry on this guy. They're really going real nice on this. And they spit some nice bars on the track. This is definitely one of the songs that DJs can do some work with. Make sure that's in your playlist, ASAP. You can spin that on the radio. You can spin that in the club. It is definitely a true banger on the project. And I definitely have that as one of my favorites. So I'm saying guys. So once again, it's called Keep On Rolling, track 13. It is definitely a hot track, and these make sure you show some support on that one, see what I'm saying? Then we get to the final track on the album. This one is called Ghetto Cowboy, which is the title track, and this one right here, straight up the hottest track to me on the entire album. This one is dope as hell, see what I'm saying? Some serious bars, and this one right here, I wanna issue a head nod warning on this. This track right here, it's got clever scratching on the cut, doing some transforms, and this is the kind of Yellow Wolf track that the average person would expect from Yellow Wolf, I know most people want to hear this kind of song from Yellow Wolf, 
and he did not disappoint on this but at the end of the day the album is mostly country but this one right here you will have it on repeat guys the track is dope as hell DJs you're gonna be spinning this immediately put that in your playlist get that on the radio get that in the clubs this track is definitely gonna be the highest streaming track on the project because it is the dopest track on the entire album so I'm saying guys it's track 14 once again it's called get a cowboy the title track of the album and it is straight fire so I'm saying and once again salute to DJ clever on the cut clever I heard those transform and I like it so I'm saying and I'm always happy when DJs get to really shine on tracks in 2019 so I'm saying so overall my opinion on the album it is definitely not for the average individual if you are not a true yellow world fan you might feel weird because it's a lot of country vibe all over the track so I'm saying me I for one I'm an open-minded person guys and I try to make sure I listen and be patient and have an open mind on new music so I'm saying so I think it's pretty cool there were some gems on there with DJ Clever cutting it up and as turntables I enjoyed those songs so I'm saying I think the title track on the end at track 14 get a cowboy is definitely gonna be doing some serious numbers and DJ is gonna go crazy with that one so I'm saying the track is dope and definitely something that the average person can enjoy so I'm saying guys so once again not all of the songs are for the average person this album is for the true yellow wolf fan so i want you guys who are true diehardy yellow wolf fans go support the project and just stream the hell out of it and put some serious numbers on the board for yellow wolf so i'm saying because at the end of the day people got to experiment he did this just to show his true roots and i think it's pretty cool there were some bangers on there that i did like so i'm saying some of the stuff is just kind of country but i'm an open-minded i did enjoy just listening to them so i'm saying but i really got excited for the ones that i did like so i'm saying so once again track 14 definitely one of my bangers track 13 track 4 and track 2 and track 6 those are the ones i pick track 14 though is definitely going to be the headliner on the entire project so i'm saying so with that said man i just want you guys to go down to the description go look for the link go check out the album for yourself leave comments in the comment section give me some feedback on what you think the album is to you guys and did you enjoy which tracks are your favorites and i'm saying guys and the usual i'm gonna wrap it up but before I go, once again, I want to remind you guys, if this is your first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is right down in the corner right there. You can't miss it, guys. What I'm saying, just click that button. That way you don't miss any of my videos, all right? And for my regular subscribers, I salute you guys for always being here with me. And the usual, we wrap it up by saying peace and salute from West Palm Beach. And I'm out of here. And I will see you guys on my next video, all right? Peace.